Uh, I thought that was a that was a great game. Um, I'm really proud of how you know our kids didn't quit. We had there were a lot of a lot of runs both ways, a lot of momentum swings. We'd get up and then they'd catch up and then we got up and then they caught up and then it looked like we were dead and uh, Yo sends it to overtime. I mean, the, we responded to a lot of adversity. Um, I thought we had a lot of fight. Um, you know, makes it really Fowler makes it really difficult for us to have a post player that you have to pay so much attention to. Um, really, you know, frees up some of their perimeter shooters, give them credit. They knocked down you know three point shots when we tried to double. You know, but I thought our kids were flying around. I thought you know, I thought there was a lot of really good things that happened in that game. Um, winning for us was just unfortunately not one of them. If you can look at, you know, you go up 16 with about nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and then for about, I think, eight minutes you don't score. What in that time frame, what changed offensively? Because that third quarter you come out of the locker room, you just found offensive rhythm, and mm -hmm. you were knocking down threes and moving the ball. What do you think changed in that eight minute stretch between the nine minute mark and when Jasmine went to the free throw? Well, I think we've had that issue all year. Our, just our consistency with being able to. Um, you know, find open players and move the ball and move people. Um, you know, sometimes um, when we when we miss a shot, you know, or we, um, you know, something knocks us off our rhythm offensively, we have a really hard time finding that rhythm again. You know, once we're in it, we're in it, but then we can lose it really quickly for, for no real distinct reason, and that's – it's kind of been one of our issues all season, but uh, yeah, you know, it's yeah, it's hard to to fathom just going down and coming up empty, 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 and you know, just frustrating um, to be able to not help them out of that situation. You know, that's my fault. I've got to be able to give them some solutions to uh, get us a basket or get us to the free throw line. And um, you know, to their credit, they just they fought really, really hard to the end. And you know, I thought Yo made a you know, tremendous shot. I thought Jasmine made some big shots. Everybody did some really good things. We just came up a little short. That overtime was really tough because it seemed like every time you get one possession and then they get the free throw line and they just kept knocking their mm -hmm. free throws down. I mean, in a situation like that, when you're in an overtime and just every possession is so key, mm -hmm. those little mistakes can kill you. How do you really try to just learn from this game and all the ups and downs and try to move forward? Obviously, you're in the back half of your conference season, but trying to learn from a game like this that has you know so many swings in it. Yeah, I mean, every experience like this hopefully um, is something that they can take something positive away from. Um, you know, it's frustrating. They're disappointed. We're disappointed that we lost, and um, yet we know we have Gonzaga coming in here, who's coming off of a loss to Santa Clara, so we'll be ultra motivated. We know how the game against Gonzaga went here last year, and. You know, so I just you just can't dwell on things too too long. Um, we'll we talked about it. We talked about opportunities and taking advantage of opportunities. But um, really, it's just you know take it for what it's worth and you know so take some of the positives that we did away from it. Um, being able to come back, being able to fight back through adversity, um, you know, and and just get ready for the next one is kind of all you can do. You want to. Obviously, gets that crazy shot to force overtime. Big game, 27 points. Their defense was doing everything they can to stop her. What is it like when you just know you have a player on the court who can make that crazy play like that to hmm. keep you in games? Yeah, that was a, a wild shot. You know, Yo, Yo can do some phenomenal things out there on the floor, and she played, I think, like 43 minutes tonight. So um, she was probably exhausted at that point, too. But, you know, I think she just. She has so much pride in how she plays, and she has so much, um, you know, <clears throat> um, will to win. She's just uh, an extraordinarily competitive young woman, and, you know, she's the kind of player that you want to have the ball in her hands, and she wants the ball in her hands in key situations. And she's also the kind of player that is willing to, to take the responsibility for that last shot, make or miss. Um, and I, remire, I admire that and I respect that. You know, a lot of kids want the ball in their hand when it's easy. She wants the ball in her hands whenever it needs to be in her hands, you know, and I, I just appreciate that tremendously from her. Looking ahead, Gonzaga, the last two years, all the games have been close throughout the game. It seems like they've just been able to pull away a little bit in the fourth quarter. What are some of those adjustments you need to make to get the win at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, a tough one last year at home. We did everything but win the game. Um, you know, I just I expect our kids to be really, again, highly motivated and 
Gonzaga has been the, you know, the standard bearer for our league on the women's side and the men's side, but certainly on the women's side since Kelly Graves coached there. And, you know, as much as everybody loves to, to hate Gonzaga, they've done it the right way and they've won consistently. They've won in the conference season. They've won the conference tournament. They win when they get to the postseason. So, um, you know, and they've, they've got a target on their back all the time, and yet they are able to be consistent. And, you know, that's, that's what we're all striving for is that, you know, high level of consistent excellence.